Have a look at you. Sponsors. Hang on, Gary. Oh, terrible. Sars Barella. Right, anyway, guys, um, where is Sars from? Swept. <laughs> it's Swept of Essence. Right. It's, Ma it's the essence of something. The essence of Swept. Yeah. Monday tee off. It's been a little while since we've done a Monday tee off, so um, yep. it's time. So we're, we're actually here at Mulaney. Yep, up at Mulaney, come up here for it. Yep, we... Uh, beautiful, not too bad. It's still warm, but uh, a little bit of a breeze around, which is... We've been good. We've been down in Brisbane, sort of mid to high 30s. Yep. And it feels like a million percent humidity. It's been very humid. It's yep. been very humid, so... Yep. yep, you sweat just walking outside. It literally feels like you've been in a, in a sauna, like it was feral. Yep. But yep. it is what it is. Up here is lovely. It might be... 30 odd, maybe yep. even just a little bit less than that now, uh, with with the breeze, and um, no, the breeze has been good. It's kept it sort of like I said. It's just that one spot, the course where it sort of ducks down a bit, and it's a bit sheltered. And it got a bit steamy in there, didn't it? But um, otherwise, no, no, it's been good. It's been lovely. So, yeah. so just Richard and I come up today, uh, Mulaney. Yep. They're, they're they're just about to do the uh, uh, renovations on the greens. Just. Uh, solid or hollow tines, whatever they're, they're, they're doing, but just punching holes in them. So, you know, it needs to be done. It definitely needs to be done. And up here is perfect. Like I said, like, look, when the vlog comes out, you'll see I've said it probably, what, a, a half a dozen, maybe 10 times. Probably one of my favorite tracks. It's definitely top three in Queensland. You don't expect much of it. It's unassuming. The greens are awesome, yep. as in they roll good. Um, they are, there's some crazy slope and they can be fast. Yep, and so you know, but it's you, a, oh, you, look, it, it, it's a great course. It, it's come together over the years because that's what we're saying. Like the first time we came here, it was nine holes, and I thought it was pretty good then. And then with twelve they, holes, they, twelve we did it when it was twelve. Yep, and um, and then and we've then done it eighteen with, with a couple 18, of times. So, yeah. but it, it, look, it's come along pretty good. It, it would have been a very good country nine hole track if they had have left it at that. That's true, and, and it's interesting because. They may have been able to leave it at that and then maybe have built a bigger clubhouse. So maybe, but I, I think the clubhouse, I mean, it's a demountable still. Yes, um, there was talk that eventually they were looking at buying an old, look at buying an old house to move it on there, something where they could sort of gut the inside of it mm. and then just have a big deck out the back, obviously overlooking the course. I think Which is similar to what they have pretty now. pretty close but, to what it is, yeah. You know, um, oh, look, it, it's pretty good. It's got... Yeah. Behind us here, actually, it's really, really good to see, um, I don't know, what, 10, 8 kids? Yeah. Yep. Doing lessons. Yeah, yeah. All from one family. Yeah. Well, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> There's but, a couple of different dads down there and stuff and a couple of mums. Brilliant. So. Absolutely brilliant yep. to see. Yep. It, it's, Which, again, the, the the course is mint. Like, it's striped up everywhere. I don't know. You can sort of see the, what's the first hole? First hole behind us here. It's pure. It's absolutely pure. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a very good golf course up here. I love this place. Like, if I was a member anywhere, I don't know. I mean, look, if I was living where I'm living, I probably wouldn't be a member up here. If I was playing once a fortnight, maybe. If I was playing it's, weekly or or, twi or bi-weekly, it, it, probably it, not. It is where you live. Like, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? You don't travel anywhere. But um, certainly if you lived up in this part of the world, this would be a <sighs> good golf course to be a member of. Like even if you sort of live towards the coast, as in you know towards Calandra and stuff like that, it what it'd be half an hour, forty minutes maybe drive from Calandra. I think I worked out that way. It'd be about forty minutes from Calandra. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it's not far. It's not far at all. But anyway, we're we're, we're well, here to have a bit of a chat. Just about your next option because. Uh, well, that's true. Calandra's full. Calandra's Pe full. Pelicans going, you know, stuff going on at Pelican. Yeah, well, they they're not open at the moment, are they? No. No, so uh, if you have a look at waters isn't cheap. If you look at that great. part of the world, there's not a lot. Like I said, well, I think there's what 300 on the waiting list or something at Caloundra. Well, yeah, Caloundra is busy. But it makes sense. You know, it's a good golf course, and it is very close to where all the population is. Do you know, there's a big population around Caloundra. You know, Caloundra, Kings Beach, yeah. all around there. There's those couple of little mountains. Got a couple of estates. True. Right. So there's a big, big population around there. So it makes sense that, you know, the golf course can only sort of cater for so many members, mm. which is, 
you know, a bit of a shame. And there's probably not a lot of spots really to build anywhere else now. Uh, not from another golf course standpoint, no. No, no. So, I mean, you see the newest golf course on the sunny coast was Maruti River. Yes, And that's yes. on floodplain, basically. Well, that's where you're going to have to go is probably inland a bit. There's yeah. not too much near the coast there, like. So, but, uh, yeah, I think here... I think the two two spots that I looked at if you were at Ke uh, Caloundra would be probably here or... He's already going to win a prize home, that's why. Yeah. Here or um, uh, Biwa. Yeah. Because they were both about 30, yeah, 40 minutes sim away. Similar -ish distance away. Yeah. Yep. But, um, and half an hour away is probably not too bad from where you live. No, heck no. Like I, I mean, said, it's a little bit different when it's you know, an hour and a half or something. Well, you, you, you may or may not, but yeah, no, it's... Half an hour is, is, is not an issue at all driving no. off a goal. But no. um, but I don't know if we've spoken too much about new gear. Um, comment below and if you like any of the new gear, you've seen the reviews and stuff from other other guys doing videos. We've done some videos, haven't put them out yet. Maybe they'll come out uh, this week-ish. I'm sure I could probably put a couple out. Yep, there's a fair bit of new gear coming out. You know, it's, like I said, I suppose if you're in the market for it, like mm. I said, worthwhile having a look at some of it. Um, what's, comment below on your thoughts. What, yeah. what what do you like? What don't you like? Certainly from what's working, fitting-wise, um, the Paradigm goes pretty bloody well. Uh, the new Mizuno goes pretty solid as well. Look, TaylorMade's always decent if you can hit the middle of the face. Yep. Um, uh, the Cobra was pretty good. The, oh, the Cobra's decent, yeah. Yeah, and the... Uh, Gee, for the, 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 the Ping's always good too. Yeah, yeah, the I ping's mean, good, the Strixon's good. I'm using it, yeah, like, they've no, all nothing's been good. bad. No, they've all been good for quite a while now, haven't they? Yeah. Like, do you know, it's just what you sort of prefer, and I suppose what's going to suit you the best, and, you know, it's just a matter of, like I said, or whether you're in the market for something, maybe you're happy with all your gear you got. It's true. If you're happy with what you got. Don't change. No, pretty well. <laughs> Definitely don't change. But, um, but the vlog coming up is uh, uh, Southport, actually. Is, yeah. uh, is 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 us? Well, uh, yeah. the story is we're meant to head with four, uh, but somebody, as in Harry, as in Harry, who we did at uh, at Wynnum with, uh, Harry's going to play with myself, Richo, Matt, and Harry. Uh, Harry was out on the Terps the night before, and uh, young fellas, yeah, soft, soft, and and he couldn't make it to a ten ten thirty tee off at at Southport. Come on, Harry. So we'll have to get Harry out some stage. He, he wasn't too well, I don't think, but but it was great. So we had the three of us. So we just played a three three men Ambrose. It was great. I hadn't seen thing. Maddie for a while. There's a young fella used to shear 500 sheep overnight, so you go and play golf the next day. You did. <laughs> what was the last time you shored a sheep? These boats are soft. <laughs> <laughs> he shorn the sheep. He shored yeah. the sheep. He shorn the sheep. <laughs> Uh, maybe actually I just got that he's Sean the sheep <laughs> but Harry poor Harry anyway so, so it was just the three of us course was brilliant yeah course is very started good started off well. in the back yep. nine yep. Uh, we had been there before Richie and I had done it just the two of us and just mm. the two of us but uh, then so Maddie was yep. involved which yep. was great hadn't seen Maddie for a while uh, we were meant to do Bribey a couple of weeks ago uh, but the weather wasn't great and we probably could have done it but yeah but uh, we saw Bra I saw um, Braden, and he said, "Yeah, it didn't rain at all." You know, so. Southport's really good as well. I, I like Southport. It's um, you know, it, it's it's a little bit different than here. It's what you'd expect. You expect them both to be a bit different, but yeah, it, Southport look, Private it, Golf Club down the coast. It's it, it's a good course, like you said. It's not, you know, millions of miles long. It, yeah, it's actually but, relatively yeah, short, but very some, tight. Yeah, good shots, and I, I I like it. It's nice. You sort of get a little bit lost in there. Because you do sort of get into there and you do notice that there's buildings around you and mm. stuff, but it's, it, it doesn't back onto a lot of houses and stuff. So you do feel, you know what I mean, it's pretty well sheltered by tree lines and stuff. So, you, you know what I mean? Like mm. there's, there's not a massive amount of houses around it, um, which gives it that sort of bit more private sort of feeling, I suppose. And it is private. But, yeah. I mean, it's a private course, but yeah, it's a gated yeah. thing. And um, yeah, I, I like it. It, it is very enclosed, yeah. Very, very tight. A uh, lot more strategies in belt and driver, even though you yeah. can. It's, yep. yeah, get yourself into strife. Par fives, even yep. though the distance wise they're reachable, it's about the risk you want to take off the tee. You can see a couple of times. And the, the reward hitting into the green. One of the holes there where I, I 
had a hybrid in my head before we even thought about what we're hitting because we played it before and I realised how tight it was once you get a bit further up. That's right. So there's a couple of holes like that where, so you can, if you hit a perfect driver shot, yep. yes, you'll be very good, but you only got to be five metres to the right or the left and then suddenly it narrows down very, very, very quickly. Just want, to so, make, just want to make sure all this is still recording and everything's happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yep. all good. But have so, a look at the first hole there. Look at that. It looks so good. So, it yes, so it gets um, yeah, pretty tight on some of the holes, like I said, and the water sneaks up on you very quick. And you can hit a really good shot and, and get punished. It's true. So actually. sometimes you're better off just to pull back a little bit. Uh, do you know, the 200-metre mark keeps you generally gives you a pretty good spot. And then, like I said, the holes aren't super long, so it's not like you're going to have another 200 metre shot in. You know, maybe on a par five, but do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, but you're right, there's some, there is some sneaky water around Southport. Yeah, there's a couple of little holes where you go, oh, I didn't quite, and because you don't really see it off the tee. Yeah, that's and, true. And, you know, they, the fairway suddenly goes over a little hill and then it narrows in. Yep. So if you hit the centre of that, you're fine. Yes. You only have to be a little bit where you look at it and go, because you think the, the whole fairway goes over. And you look at it and go, oh, I'm just a little bit right of centre, a little bit left of centre, oh, I'm all good. Yeah. And then you get down there and go, oh, I've just thrown into the And it was good because Matty hadn't played it either. So it was, no. quite, it was quite good to hear what Matt had to say. But uh, we, did, we need to thank Phil and everybody, everybody down at Southport because it was brilliant. It was brilliant. So thanks for that. Yep. A, busy, a pretty busy day. So we were kept yeah, on yeah, our was, toes by yep, groups behind. Yep, plenty of people around, but no, no, really good spot. It was during members comp and stuff like that. They, they, they helped us out big time. So massive thanks to Phil and Harry for, for sorting that out as well. But um, I don't know, comment below on anything else. Anything else you want to talk about? Anything else? Because we haven't had any questions for a while. So, you know, we need, yeah, to, we, no, we need to get some more questions yep, going. Any questions? Like I said, if you know. Seriously. Look at it. But, uh, you know, look, look. Uh, all the clubs bring out new gear every few years or whatever. Like I said, there's plenty of stuff kicking around, I suppose. Like I said, it depends what you're in the market for. Whether you're in the market for you know, new gear, whether it's to upgrade or look yeah. at something a bit different or like well, I, I mean, was saying. You, you were half having a chat it, about irons. Yeah, you know it, I mean? it depends on, you know, like you said, where you're at. And sometimes it's a bit of a time to change or do something different. Or... And it, But for, see, for you, like, so, so you went from your Srixons to them. Yep. Which, which, uh, your Srixons previously was for five four fives, which are great. Yep. And these are BX, what are they? BXI Pro or BX1 yeah, Pro like or yep. something, something like that. Yep. Um, uh, and what, what, what's the brand again? A Grind. A Grind. Yeah. So you used to get A Grind, B, BXI. Anyway, great forge, similar sort of clubs, but but fully forged instead of partially, partly forged in the Srixons. Then you were sort of now talking about, I sort of want something that looks like a blade. My go, my Euro. Yeah, but do, do you know what I mean? So, so you don't need to change them because we're not. We didn't gain any distance previously. You gained the feel. Yeah, yeah. And then so yeah. from there, the potential change up is. So I the don't next, care for the distance. next feel up's got to be my Euro. Almost. Yeah. And and or, or or you just want a sort of hollow body type design, but you want something if, that looks like a blade if, in the bag. I wonder if Shell come with me. I'm sure he will. So I can go there. He can be a translator. Yeah, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. And go meet his brother Ken. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, oh, that would there be cool. We got a mate, so so Craig from um, uh, from Coolangard Tweed. Yeah, remember Craig was out with us. Yeah, Craig, yep. he's in Japan right now, it's skiing. Why not? Yeah. Well, the big fella was in Japan too, wasn't he? Oh yeah, Big Jaso. Yeah, Big, big Jaso has just come back. Yep, he, he was over there. Uh, he was there for probably two weeks or so. Yeah. Enjoying yep. himself. Oh, Actually, you got to ask him if he got some Japanese knives. Japanese knives. Yeah, Japanese steel. You know, it's like you know, like, like I care about the irons. Jeez. Yeah. So I'm not too sure if he did, but yeah. Anyway, he, he loved it. He loved it. The kids loved it. Japan. You go to the Mizuno store over there. Isn't it about like ten stories tall or something? Mate, what would you do? Mate, I would they, have they to got, go. They got, got a massive store over there. Apparently, apparently it's like eight levels. Or, I'd you know, have to go like to like a, a boutique. Different sport on each level. I go to a boutique iron maker. You know what I mean? I'll try to find a couple. You know what I mean? That you've never heard of. And go go there. Don't you reckon they forge them there in front of you? The Richo grind. The Richo grind. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, and then we got all of Mulaney after Southport. So, guys, 
Look, any question, put co questions in the comments. Um, definitely get up to Mullaney. It's pretty hard to get to yeah. Southport unless you've got mates, but definitely get to... Yeah, you can get up here. Definitely get Come to Mullaney. Right here, yeah. Pretty busy. It was a Monday uh, you know, morning today. It was pretty busy. It was busy enough. It's quietish now. Um, still plenty of cars in the car park, though. Yep. Uh, but the course There's a couple of people wandering around. I'd say there'd be a lot of a lot of people probably ducked down late in Arvo and play nine holes yep. and, yep. and stuff. But it's um, no, no, it, it, it's a great spot. Get get down here because I mean, if I, I think they're punching them pretty soon. So maybe maybe don't get down next week. I'm not sure. Find out. Give them a call. Find out because yep. <laughs> I know the Renos are being started soon. So. Anyway, guys, that's going to end up me. I ain't standing here. My left knee standing on the hill. This is a bit funky. Whew. All I know is I'm getting old. And, th and this will disappear in another month. So there you go. Nice. But before it, I'm going to plait it. You want, you want to help me plait it? Oh, I'm not very good at plaiting. I plaited the girls' hair once when they were kids and they went, that was terrible. <laughs> that was terrible, Dad. Yeah. yeah. They, yeah. they never asked me to do it again. I went, that's good. That's good, yeah. Do, do the job not very well. No, no. That's it. Yeah, and and uh, for the Australian people as well, I've had half a word to uh, Ron Chopper. Should we try to catch up with Ron Chopper? So Ron can meet his old man, Richo Chopper. That's it. That would be interesting. Anyway, Ron, if you're watching, we, in, in, instead of going to Melbourne, come up here. Yeah, come to Brisbane. Or, or maybe, well, he's from WA, so so maybe you can go to Melbourne, then we meet somewhere in New South Wales. Oh, I know. If you're going from WA, I'll just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. Yeah. 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 All right. It's quicker coming back because you get the tailwind. Yeah, exactly. Isn't it the way they uh, supposedly like spins or something like that? I don't know. I think you get the tailwind or something. Free metal doctor. No, it's got to do with this. Supposedly, supposedly. Yeah, okay. No, it's the wind. It's the wind. It's not, it's it's got, not the turning of the earth. Yeah, it's got to be the wind, right? Yeah. No? Well, the well, they just drive faster on the way back. Isn't it flat? Well, supposedly. But it's like, that's in a straight line, so it doesn't matter. So it must be the wind. Yeah. Tilted a bit, you might go downwind. Downhill. So downhill, I was going to say. From, yeah, so from Brisbane to Perth, yeah, it's probably a bit downhill. Yeah. Maybe that's why. Yeah. Anyway, get up to Mullaney. It is a good spot. Thanks, Schweppes, for uh, sarsaparilla. <laughs> That's it. Cheers, guys. We're going to see you next time. Oh, my God, my Beautiful. knee is no good. Right, see you.